This week, Kentucky State Police released its annual report on crime rates in the state for 2023. The report is a big collection of statistics made up of offense and arrest data sent in by law enforcement agencies across the state. Now, while the number of incidents still remains low at 60 for the year, the rate of human trafficking had the highest increase of all of the major crimes reported at almost 40%. KSP says it believes the rise in human trafficking reports may be related to an increase in law enforcement training and a nationwide push for heightened community awareness. Animal cruelty rates also showed a sharp rise by more than 200 incidents. That is a 35% jump. Motor vehicle thefts also increased by more than 2,000 incidents last year, a rise of nearly 18%. There's a lot of data to break down from this report, and we'll have the numbers on the screen for folks to see here in just a little bit. But Senator Thayer, I'm going to let you uh, start the conversation here. Out of all of this data, there was a big graph just just listing all of the, the occurrences of some of the most serious crimes in the state. What concerned you most? Well, it's, it's good to see that there are some areas where it's going down, but I really believe that the premise of this report is wrong because we saw a spike in crime during COVID, during the government mandated shutdowns. In 2022, we were still on the back end of that. I think it's more realistic and, an, a, and a better appropriate snapshot to go back to 2019 before COVID. So I did some of that research and I saw that from 2019 to 2023, there is an increase in violent crime, homicide, uh, motor vehicle theft, theft, assault, and other violent crimes. And obviously we, we have a lot of opioid uh, related crimes. So there are certainly some good things to take from this report, but I, I don't want people to have a, a, a sense of safety when actually from four years ago, five years ago, violent crime is on the increase. And as you know, I mean, there were a couple of bright spots there of, of, of some crimes that have dropped between 1%, 5%, somewhere in the teens. I, I, what jumped out to me was the motor vehicle thefts increasing by, by so much, nearly 18%. And that made up about, uh, I want to say, uh, well, I lost, there we go, 5.6% of the crimes overall occurring in the state. We passed a carjacking statute mm -hmm. this year in the Safer Kentucky Act. I, I'm curious, Senator Webb, you're a lawyer, what does the creation of a new carjacking statute actually do versus what they could have already been charged with? Uh, I worked on gang legislation years ago, what we were operating under. I, I, don't, I, think, I don't think it's gonna be that much of a deterrent for the causation factors that go into these kind of property crimes. And, uh, but you know the penalties are gonna be higher, so the costs are gonna be more. Uh, I think you've got a bigger gang influence, uh, maybe, you know, in cities, but the crime report overall is consistent with the FBI, national trends, and the, the major cities police reports. Uh, so I think that's an encouraging note that violent crime is down. Of course, the legislature keeps classifying a lot of things as violent crime now, so ours will probably go up because of the new designations and classifications. And that's, that's not, uh, uh, in my opinion, an accurate assessment either. So, you know, we've got uh, the SAFER Act. My main concern there is how we're going to incarcerate. Kentucky's got the highest rate of incarceration in the nation. We've uh, got some issues with corrections as far as, uh, re you know, reentry and, and things of that nature. We still have an opioid problem. Um, so that, I think, attributes to the, the car crimes as well. But we've got uh, going to have some real physical challenges to be facing uh, because of uh, the SAFER Act. we got about 15 seconds if you want to give a final word there, Senator Thayer. We, we did pass uh, a, a new statute on animal cruelty, toughening the penalty mm -hmm. for animal cruelty, and the Safer Kentucky Act, I think, is a response to the fact that people don't really feel safer. So I don't, I don't want people to have a, a false a, a, a sense of security from this report. All right. Thank you, Senator.